Hey friends, I thought I would continue decluttering. It's a good day for it. It's a little bit rainy outside. Surprise, surprise, here in Vegas. Uh, and yeah, I just have to keep going. My drawers are just overflowing. So today we are going to do single shadows, which I know doesn't sound like much, but I have a lot. Here is my first drawer <laughs> of single shadows. And these are uh, basically like my cream and liquid shadows. So I already see a bunch that I can definitely let go of. So I'm so glad we're doing this. All right, um, let's start over here. The, and sorry, this is just lights coming in from my, my blinds. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of my Glossier lid stars. I I enjoy these. I just never, never, ever, ever do I reach for these. Completely forgot about them. Um, they're lovely if you like a light wash of like a slightly satin kind of cream shadow, but I have a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. I have these Natasha Chromium liquid eyeshadows. These are fun. These are a lot of fun and these are relatively new. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these for a little bit longer. I really don't have a lot of like super fun, colorful makeup like this. So I'm gonna hold on to these. I have a Clay de Peau cream shadow, which I actually really, really love. It's like a slightly satin, chocolatey brown color. And this was a limited edition color. It's color number 309. And I just, I just love it. So I'm gonna be holding on to that. I have a bunch of Victoria Beckham products here. So these two, um, lid lusters from her actual line, Onyx and Midnight, I'm definitely gonna hold on to. These two I've been holding on to for nostalgia purposes. These are the Eye Foils, which came out with her second collaboration with Estee Lauder, and they're a lot of fun. Uh, this Burnt Anise is like a black metallic, and this um, Blonde Gold, yeah, Blonde Gold, you can see it was like a, just this ivory color with gold shimmer in there. A lot of fun, really beautiful but I am going, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna let these go. Okay, moving on over here, I have this Vesca Moonlit Dream Cream Shadow in the shade Karina. And this is relatively new, so I'm gonna hold on to this. And then I have the Westman Atelier iPods. Definitely not letting these go. This is the Les Nuit set. So this is the evening set. I'm gonna hold on to that. And oh, these Tom Fords. I really like them, but I think I'm gonna get rid of the ones that are really, really old. So this Fleur Neige, I think is one of the newer ones. Well, that looks pretty cracked and dry. Well, let's see. So that's Fleur Neige. We have Reflection. This one looks a little dry as well. These are also all like out of commission. They're all limited edition. So even if I talk about them, you guys can't get them, which is so frustrating. This one is Sun Worship. This one actually looks like it's in decent shape. What's the shade of the topper? Oh, similar gold, okay. Uh, Young Adonis. This is one of my favorites. And this actually still looks kind of creamy. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And this was the topper for Young Adonis. Um, Golden Peach, this is actually still around, but this is probably one of the first ones that I got. This actually doesn't look, well, it looks a little dry. It looks a little dry, okay. Hmm, I have to make some hard decisions here. This one is, oh, this one's Paradiso. This is another one of my favorites. This one looks really dried up, all right. This had a beautiful peach topper. And then this is Naked Bronze. This is probably the oldest one that I have. Yeah, that looks really dry. And there's actually some weird things. I don't know if you can see, but along the edge, there's some weird things growing. Okay, this one is definitely a no-no. <laughs> That's a definite declutter there. Uh, as your son, this one was really pretty. I never really use this one. This one's a little too colorful for me. Oh, this topper was really pretty. I'm really tempted to keep a lot of these toppers and get rid of the cream parts because these toppers are, they're still good. 
and they're just these like really pretty glittery top coats. I really like them. Maybe I will do that. Is that weird? I definitely don't need to keep all of the top coats because they are fairly similar. Ooh, that's a nice white one. Oh, this is Fleurnage. Am I keeping this? Ugh, that looks sadly, sadly sad. Okay, I think I'll keep the top for that one. Ooh, this is a deep brown. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep that top. I'm not gonna know what these went to, am I? That's okay. And then the Sun Worship. I don't think I need either of this. Okay, I'm gonna declutter that as well. And then, oh, the Young Adonis. I'm gonna keep Young Adonis. This one was still looking kind of creamy. So I'm gonna keep that. And then Golden Peach and Paradiso. Golden Peach, I should just, I should get rid of. I shouldn't even try and assess. This one is very, very old. Do I need this topper? You know, I don't think so. I feel like with the Auric ones from Samantha Ravendahl, I feel like there's a peachy one there. So I'm going to declutter that. Paradiso, oh, I really like this one. This one was like a cooler peach. Hmm, I think maybe I'll keep the top to that one as well. And then I have Young Adonis, okay. All right, so I'm keeping a bunch of tops, <laughs> four tops, one full one, the Young Adonis and everything else I'm going to declutter. Wow, okay. I have some more of these uh, Victoria Beckham Lid Lusters in Mink and Tea Rose. These two are my favorites, so I'm definitely holding on to these. These Tom Ford um, Aqua Metal Shadows, I really love these, <laughs> I really do. So I'm gonna hold on to these. This one is Reflex Gilt, and this one is Violet Argente. And these just are just such a lovely like wash of a liquid shadow. Like they're not too thick looking, which I'm not a fan of when it comes to eyeshadows. They just, yeah, they just work really, really well. So I think these are, well, were limited edition. I think they're not even available anymore, but I'm gonna hold on to these because I love them. All right, anything else in here? No. So moving on to this section. Okay, these Ritual Defeat are relatively new. These are the Ash and Ember Eye Soots, and then this one is Celestial Sphere. I'm gonna hold on to all of these. I really love this one. This one is Golden Age. It's so pretty. Um, well, obviously gonna hold on to this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This was one of her jewel pots. This came out a little bit later than her other jewel pot. So I ordered this and then I just, I just haven't gotten a chance. I haven't even opened it. Oh no, I opened it at the bottom. Um, yeah, I haven't used this. So I am definitely gonna hold on to this um, because I do really love these. They're really, really pretty. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna keep it in the box just to remind me that I haven't used it like a jerk. Okay. Um, yeah, here's the other jewel pot, the one that I got first, the Walk of No Shame. Really pretty. All right. We have a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury um, Eyes to Mesmerize. These are her uh, like cream shadows. These are the newer ones. This one is Sunset Rose. Jeez, I like maybe use this once. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This one is Copper Sunrise. Also one of the newer ones and one that I've maybe used once or twice. I can see my finger just dip right in the center there, but that's it. Uh, so that's Copper Sunrise. Definitely gonna hold on to that. And then here is Bet. This is probably one of the first <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury products I ever purchased. So this is probably four or five years old and doesn't look dry, it just looks misshapen, but I think it's just too old at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Then we have Star Gold. I really love this color. There is Star Gold. I'm gonna hold on to that. This is on the newer side. And then I have Rose Gold. This one's really pretty too. But there is Rose Gold. So I'm gonna hold on to this one as well. And then we have a bunch of these cream shadows from Tom Ford. And, oof, wow, I really love these. Okay, the Caviar, 
is so good. It is so, so good. God, this looks a little bit dry. I'm trying to think when I got this. Oh no, it's fine. But if you want like a subtle smoky eye, it has like a little bit of shimmer. Can you see that? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, that works well still. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, this spice color, this is such a good one too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this one, looks good. And then burnished copper. I think actually this is maybe the first one I got. Let's see, whoa, let's see how this one is doing. This one looks okay too. Oh yeah, these are so gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna hold on to this too. Okay, that was a complete fail in terms of decluttering. All right, I have to get serious here. Um, Okay, these hourglass ones. These are really beautiful, but I never ever use them. I wonder if there's a color I like more than the others. Yeah, this one is a little too yellow for me, so I'm gonna declutter that. Ray. Oh, Ray is the one I like the most. <laughs> I'm sure you could guess that. All right, I'll hold on to Ray, and then I'll let go of Molten, because this is like a red, which I don't really use that often. Okay. So decluttering those two, I'm gonna hold on to Ray. And then, oh, we have more Tom Fords, wow, okay. We have Escapade, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and I know these are all still good too because I don't see any cracking or separating from the edge or anything. This one is opal or opal, gorgeous. And then this one is Midnight Violet. Oh, actually, this is the first one I ever got, which is funny because I don't really wear purple eyeshadows that much. Um, and this one still even looks pretty good. Wow. All right, I'm gonna hold on to that. And then here are all of my Chantecaille mermaid eye colors. I'm not, yeah, I'm not getting rid of any of these. I love these all so much. This one is Seashell. This one's Olivia, this is a matte one. This one is Copper. And this one is Starfish. Oof, so beautiful. Okay, holding on to all of those. And then we have this Tom Ford badass, like liquid eye color. And I actually, oh, Lid Lacquer, that's what it's called. I actually really, really liked this because I thought it was pretty easy to use for like a black <laughs> liquid eyeshadow, just not what I expected. But it has like this weird like thickness to it. So when you blend it out, it just it just kind of like smokes out really easily. You get this kind of like black oily look. But look at that, it's like, it smokes out so easily. I don't, you know, no one really talked about this, but I really, really liked this from the Badass Collection. There wasn't much else that I liked. It also has this like cool sheen to it. Yeah, it's really cool. So anyway, it's still working pretty well. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then here are all of my Chanel single shadows. There's a mixture of like Illusion d'Ombre and Ombre Premier shadows. I am not getting rid of any of these. I love these so much. Um, I also see that I have uh, a Trini London eye to eye in mystery. I'm not getting rid of this either. I love this. Love it, love it. And it's relatively new. So holding on to all of these, um, but I will show them all to you because I know you're probably curious. So this one is New Moon, Mirage, Rose Lame which was limited edition, so I don't think you can get it anymore, but I wish they would make this part of the permanent collection. It's so beautiful. Patine Bronze. Undertone, this one's looking really dry. This one is really old too. This is probably one of the first ones I got. You know, I'm gonna see if I can save it. I have some of those like drops that maybe I can put in here and mix it back up. Yeah, I'm gonna save this and kind of play around with this one, experiment on this one. Pierre de Rose, so pretty. And then these are Ombre Premier Glosses. So this one is Lunaire. This one is Solaire. Here is Rouge Contrast. This I got in 2016. I'm gonna declutter this. <laughs> There's no point in keeping this. This came out in fall of 2016, so I'm just gonna, just gonna get rid of that. This one is Rouge Brulee, and this came out in 2016 as well. So I'm going to get rid of this. Silver Screen, Convoitise, 
Gem Doré, Ultra Flesh, and Ve Metal. And then I have five of these Ombre Premier Blacks. I'm gonna hold on to all of these. And then we have a bunch of Armani Eye Tints, which I love. So these are the newer ones. They come in the shorter, fatter packaging, like so. And then the older ones come in the longer packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all of these longer ones because they're old and they're also discontinued. So I'm just gonna get rid of these and hold on to all of these. So these are all of the colors that I have. And I want to get more because they have so many. Whoa, yeah, there they are. I want to get more, but yeah, I just, I wish I could go in store and see. Here is my other Westman Atelier iPod. This is the Le Jour set, the day set, holding on to that for sure. Oh, and I have another Lid Luster. This is Honey. I love this one too. And definitely keeping that. Um, I have some Danessa Myrick's Color Fix uh, foil shadows. These are incredible and I definitely want to do a dedicated video to her things because yeah her her makeup is so much fun so holding on to that and then ooh, I have some Giorgio Armani um, eyeshadows let me see these eyes to kill stellar I think these are the newer ones yes these are gorgeous so I'm gonna hold on to this one this is uh, shade number two. This one is shade number three. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how smoky that looks. And then this one is one of the older ones. So I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one because it's super old, like five, five or six years old. I have these two metalist sparkling foiled pigments. I think these are from uh, Touch and Soul. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these. I never ever use them, unfortunately. So I'm gonna declutter these. And then, last but not least, let's see, we have the three Auric um, Smoke Reflect Dual Shadows. I'm gonna hold on to these, these are new. And then I have a bunch of Natasha Denona, like Chroma Crystal Top Coats. Is that what they were called? Chroma Crystal Top Coats, yeah. So this one is, Metal black, I actually love this one. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. And then there was another one, metal bronze. Yeah, this is the other one I'm sure I wanna hang on to. So metal back, black and metal bronze are the two that I wanna hold on to. I think the rest I'm going to let go of because they're a little bit old. There's gray brown. They're a little bit old and I just I just never ever reach for them. I enjoy them a lot, but I always reach for these other ones that I'm keeping. Um, here's Nude, Brown Mauve, and the, ooh, this one's actually coming out, so that's okay. Burnt Terracotta, and then this one is Peach. Yeah, pretty, but again, I just, I just never ever reach for them. Um, and then the same with these. I know people didn't really like these. I actually like these. <laughs> these worked out well for me, um, but I never, I never reach for them. And I prefer some of these other liquid shadows to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these as well. There was actually one color that I really, really loved. Was it Moonstone? Maybe it's Moonstone, let me see. Maybe I'll keep Moonstone. There's Moonstone, really is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to Moonstone, but I'm gonna go ahead and let go of these. All right, I'm going to put back everything I'm keeping and then we can go to the next drawer of single shadows. That's all I have left, and these aren't even single cream shadows anymore. But I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep these in here. I'm still deciding whether or not I need to keep the tops of these, but I really do like these 
topper shades. Anyway, let me put this drawer away and let me pull out the next drawer. All right, yes, I am a single shadow fiend. All right, let's start in the same place here. I have, this is so disorganized. These are not the best types of drawers for single shadows because they're so deep. So if you only line them up like onesies, then it's like they're hard to get to. And then if you pile them up, this is what happens. So anyway, um, the Lafito Ombres from Sicily. I love these. These are baked gelée eyeshadows. They're gorgeous. So I'm keeping, well, I'm definitely keeping the ones, the colors that I like. So this one is 24, keeping that. This one is 12, definitely keeping the Silky Rose. So beautiful. This one is Metallic Jean, number 33. I think I may uh, give this one away because it's so good, but I just don't wear this color. So I'm gonna set this aside. All of those cream shadows, I'm tossing out. I don't feel comfortable passing those on to anyone because they're cream products, but this is a powder product. So I'm gonna pass that along. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I have, it's like a treasure trove of Pat McGrath singles. So most of these are from her kits that she used to have. So I'm gonna hold on to all of these because you just can't get these anymore. This was part of her, her like metal, her metal kit, what was it called? Wow, I'm losing my mind. Is it on the back? No. No, but here's the silver cream. These were so good, so, so good. Here's copper cream. And then she had these baked shadows, which I wish she would come back out with. These baked shadows are amazing. I mean, look at this gold. Okay, so holding on to all of those and, oh, this was part of the Dark Star kit. So holding on to that. And then she came out with these little single shadows, which, God, I never ever reach for, it's such a shame. But I got the shades that didn't appear elsewhere, like in any of her palettes, because a lot of them were, um, you know, had appeared um, in palettes or whatever. This one I really love, this is Rose Venus. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. Yeah, since these are powder products, I'm just gonna pass these along. I'll either, you know, see if I can sanitize them and donate them or pass them on to a friend. I definitely have some friends that would be interested in this, um, in these shadows. This one is statuesque. I may hold on to this one. This one's a great like transition shade. Yeah, and then I'm gonna declutter these four. All right, so over here, these are the two new YSL shadows that I just got. I don't know if you guys saw my shop with me at Nordstrom. Um, but this is the sequin mono, and then this is the satin mono that I got. So holding on to these, these are brand new. This Christian Dior uh, Minimalism mono shadow is lovely. I love their mono shadows. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this. And then, oh wow, and then I have these Shantikai Luminescent Eye Shades you will have to pry these out of my cold dead hands. So holding on to Zebra, this one is um, Peacock, and this is a smoky burgundy. Let me look at that. And then I have some others here. This is a dusky lilac, that's the pangolin, pangolin, I always mispronounce this poor beautiful creature's name, but that is a dusky lilac. And then this one is the Rhinoceros. This is one of my favorites. It's so cool. It's like a deep, cool toned brown, like a metal brown. It's so pretty. Um, and then I have some Burberry singles, which oh, these are so old, but they're great. This one is Pale Barley. Do you guys remember this? Pale Barley, I didn't even want to ruin the like pattern, the plaid pattern. So I just used it in this one corner up there. That is Pale Barley. This one is Storm Gray. I did the same thing. I only used it up there. And this one is Nude. It's actually like a metallic taupe, which I love. So I'm gonna hold on to all of these. They're beautiful and they still actually perform really well. I've got some Bobbi Brown singles. This camel color from Bobbi Brown 
I know it looks it looks bright but I have to tell you this is one of the best transition shades ever like if you're going for warm tone look this is so good camel number five so good so I'm gonna hold on to that and then this is cement and this is one of the sparkle eyeshadows and this is like one of those Tom Ford eye toppers so gorgeous so I'm gonna hold on to that I don't even know if these are still being made I hope so because they're so good um, and then I have this Bobbi Brown single. This was part of that camouflage collection that I actually kind of got rid of, but these Bobbi Brown shades, what are these called? The like luxe eyeshadows. These are incredible. They're baked gelée and they're just insane. Like absolutely insane. The like metallic shift the like glossiness, the color. Ugh, I, th I don't know why this is, this is another one. I don't know why it's limited edition. Oh, and while we're at it, I see the other Bobbi Brown um, incandescent color. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. And here's another one, this is high octane. Oh my God, isn't that stunning? Okay, so I'm keeping those. Um, Oh, here are, oh wait, what's this? Oh, I have one more Bobbi Brown. This is, oh, this is Banana. This was a really nice kind of all over lid shade. Yeah. So, well, I'm really not doing that great decluttering, am I? Okay, I'm going to declutter this guy. I mean, it is very, very old. I'm sure I have shades like this in other palettes. So I'm going to declutter this. The Surat Holographic shades. These are so, so cool. These are the Halogram eyeshadows and it was released with these like two bases so you could put down either a dark base or like a nude base and then put these like holographic shades over them oh they're so so cool so i'm holding on to all of these for sure and then moving on to this pile so i've got a sugu tone touch eyes in number six definitely keeping this look at how pretty that is Oof, gorgeous keeping that and then here are the bulk of my sisley ones so here is number 10 Silky Cream, keeping that. Here is Glow Silver. This is one of my favorites. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Keeping that. Metallic Khaki, another one of my favorites. Um, Glow Pearl, I feel like I'm gonna say this for every color. Another one of my favorites. Sparkling Topaz, <laughs> another one of my favorites. Matte Cocoa gorgeous deep brown shade gonna hold on to that and then we have metallic pink this one i'm gonna pass along i never ever use this color it's just not very me i think i would prefer if it was either peachier or cooler like more of a bubblegum pink but this one is it's a little uh, fleshy <laughs> so i'm gonna pass this one along Hi, <laughs> I'm actually filming this a couple hours uh, later, so the, the lighting looks a little bit different and it's actually storming here in Vegas. Do you hear that wind? Anyway, if you hear any wind, any raindrops, that's what's happening here in Vegas, which is, wow, just like, doesn't happen often as you can imagine. All right, anyway, let's get back into this. I have a bunch of these Tom Ford, I don't even remember what they call these, private shadows. And I do remember that there were all these different finishes and I loved these little shadows, obviously. <laughs> I have a ton. Uh, but there were some that I was not the biggest fan of, like this one. I was not the biggest fan of. This is, was this the badass one? Oh no, this was the one that came out in spring, summer 18. Wow, three years ago at this point. And I could definitely make it work and it's, it's, it's pretty, it's just crumbly. And I just felt like it was like a hair too fussy for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I have so many of these. This one is videotape. This was in a suede finish. Um, this one is Starlet Ultra Suede. And the suede and the ultra suede is basically matte and the suede is like a soft matte. So I'm gonna keep these. Those look like nice basic shades. And then this is 
Hush in suede. Beautiful, cool toned. Keeping that. This is Breathless, a paillette formula. This one's really pretty, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This is Iris Bronze, a sateen. Hold on to that. Probably gonna hold on to most of these. Um, silver Screen, sateen. This one actually, you know, when I looked at it in store, you guys could probably see it. I thought it was a little bit more of like gray silver, but it's actually kind of like a blue. And I just don't, I just don't really reach for it. Okay, I'll declutter that one. This is warm leatherette in a vinyl finish, which is basically like a high satin sheen. This was one of my favorites, so I'm gonna keep that. This is Vertigo in Ultra Suede. Love that. It's like a really cool, cool toned taupe. Smoked Opaline, this is one of my favorites. It's like a khaki green. This is Blonde Venus in Ultra Suede. Hold on to that, nice matte. This is Fire Sign, a paillette finish, gorgeous. Hold on. Oops, I'll hold on to that. This one is Camera Obscura, a paillette finish. It's gorgeous, but I never, I never wear this color, so I'm gonna declutter that. Here is Dark Victory, an ultra suede finish. I'll hold on to that. Body Double in Vinyl, this is one of my favorites. I think Vinyl, Vinyl was my favorite finish. It was like the high shine satin. Anyway, I'm gonna hold on to that. Agenda Rouge suede finish. I really just don't wear reds like this. I wonder, hmm, a little bit of shimmer in there. It is quite interesting. All right, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> Why stop now? Um, Burnt suede, suede, oh, this is gorgeous, love that. And this one is blue velvet vinyl finish. Ooh, that is a pretty, pretty blue. Uh, I'm gonna declutter it though. Never wear a lot of blue shadows. All right, so that is all of the Tom Ford private shadows. Um, and then up here we have a lot of the Chanel um, Ombre Premier types of shadows. And I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. Um, so I'm just gonna show these to you. This one is Carte Blanche. This one is Poupre Brun. This is Pen Ombre. Here's Cure Brun. Probably slaughtering the pronunciation. It's number 928. Here is Or Blanc. Here is Couvre Rose. Love that one. Here is Poudre d'Or. Here is Or Antique. And these line ones are my favorite. This one is, what's this one called? This was 906 Verleme. Here is Grandeur. Couvre Lame. Electrum Lame. Noir Lame. Here is Sable. Here is Blue Celine. Should I keep this? I never use this. I think I'm gonna declutter this one. Bronze Antique. And Vison, Vison. It is number 22. All right, so keeping most of those, <laughs> of course, not surprised. Um, over here we have two of the Lancome Monochromatique. So I have a la mode and ooh la la. A la mode is this beautiful satiny brown. And these are like cream shadows. They're really, really interesting. And this one is ooh la la, which also has a little bit of micro glitter in there. So these are relatively new to my collection, so I'm gonna hold on to these. And then I have a bunch of these Surat prismatic eyes, and I think these could be dried out. So there is a cream shadow at the top here, and then, let me screw this back on, and then a powder shadow on the bottom, and I think all of these creams are too old. So that one was too old, I'm going to declutter. Oh, this one actually still looks okay. This one is Crystal Eyes. So this cream shadow is more of like a gel, and then there's like a white. I'll hold on to that one. That one still looks pretty good. 
Um, this one is neutral eyes. Yeah, that is like desperately dry. This one is very old. I think this may have been the first one that I purchased. So I'm gonna declutter that. And then here's real eyes. That one looks okay. Yeah, let's see. That one's real eyes. Yeah, I'll hold on to that one. That one looks okay. Um, and then I have some of the Surratt lid lacquers. I love these. These are those cream shadows. So this one is Hadaka, probably my favorite one or the one that I use the most. Here is Kira Kira. Here is Shikoku. Here is Shu Iro. Love this one. Here is Komugi. Here is Pika Pika. I probably use this one the most, you could probably tell. <laughs> but it's like the shimmery black in this line. Set Sato Ume. Sato Ume. And what do we have here? Kogecha. Ooh, this one's beautiful too. So holding on to all of those. And then what do we have? Oh, I have more of the Shantakai Luminescent Eye Shades. This one is Elephant. This one is Giraffe. Holding on to these, obviously. <laughs> and then we have, oh, two from the, um, oh, why can't I remember the name of this collection? Oh, anyway, two more Luminescent Eye Shades. Isn't that beautiful? And then this one, which actually reminds me of one of the Bobbi Brown Lux eye colors, but they're just gorgeous. So I'm holding on to that. And then, oh, here we have Lion from Shantikai. And then here is Cheetah, gorgeous. And then, oh, I have a bunch of NARS singles. So here is Pacife. Here is one of those wet dry shadows. I'm not even sure if they make these anymore, but they're like baked. They're so cool. I'm definitely holding on to this one. This is such a beautiful shade. That's Pacife. And then these are just some that I picked up because this is when they redid the eyeshadow line. I don't even remember. This one is stud. Oh, this was one of their like hardwired shades. So this one is stud. Really beautiful. This one is Ashes to Ashes actually looks like many of the Tom Ford shades that I kept. So I'm going to declutter this. And then Tulum is a shade that I was hoping to find something similar to that Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. Where did that one go? Yeah, these are kind of very, very close. I think I did a good job finding a little dupe here. I think, whoa, I think it's because these Bobbi Browns are discontinued. So I'm gonna hold on to the loom and declutter this one. All right, last little cubby here. I see one of my all time favorite single shadows. This is Cosmopolite from Christian Dior. This is definitely one of those you'll have to pry out of my cold dead hands. <laughs> yeah, love that one a lot. Let's see, I have, I actually see a lot here that I could probably declutter. So these MAC Charlotte Olympia cream shadows, I have had for at least five years and I've kept them because of the packaging, because I love, this was my absolute favorite MAC collaboration ever, ever. I just love the spider web so much. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to part with these. <sighs> okay, these were maybe. So sad. Um, here is a Gucci duo. This is in Fume. I'm gonna declutter this because this, this particular Gucci beauty line has been discontinued. They've completely revamped it, as you guys know. Uh, so I'm going to declutter that. I'm going to declutter this single, which is Iconic Bronze. It's more like Iconic Copper. It was a lot more orange than I thought. Anyway, I'm gonna declutter that. Um, this Stila shadow, I don't know really what possessed me. I think I was watching a YouTuber and they really loved this and it looked so beautiful on them. And of course I ran out and purchased it, not even thinking <laughs> this is a shadow that I would actually put on my face. Um, it is not. So I'm going to declutter that. 
um, let's see, I have this H&M shadow in shiitake. This is such a beautiful shadow, but I do have a lot of shadows like this, and this is incredibly old, so I'm going to declutter that. I have this Fenty, oh, this is the Kilowatt Foil and Sandcastle. And it's definitely like a little, the color's a little bit off in terms of using it as a highlighter. So I stuck it in here to use as a single shadow because it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Here is one of the previous YSL single shadows. Um, I believe the ones that I just purchased, where are they? I can't find anything in this pile now. Oh, I believe these are the new ones. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Um, I'm going to declutter these MAC shadows. These are the extra dimension eyeshadows. This is in Sea Worship. These are like baked gelée shadows and they're gorgeous. I never, I forgot I had them. I never use them. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. All right. And then I have this shadow that I got at Muji when I was in Japan. So this is more of like a souvenir. It's also very pretty. It's like this really beautiful like glittery kind of silvery shade. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then, oh, this is such a good eyeshadow. This is the Natasha Denona's Blackest, Natasha Denona, wow. Natasha Denona Blackest Black Gold Rush. And this literally is the blackest black eyeshadow you will ever come across. The Gold Rush version has some gold bits in there. If you get just the blackest black, it won't even have the gold bits in there. It's just like pitch black. So this is great, obviously, if you want black shadow or I like using shadow as eyeliner. This is fantastic. So love this. I'm going to hold on to this. All right. Well, let me put back everything I'm going to keep. And then those were my two drawers full of single eyeshadows. So we're done with my declutter today and I will show you what I am decluttering. Okay, the big question is, do I keep these? Oh, I really do just love looking at them. <laughs> All right, I will keep these for another round. I'll just put them back here with my Pat McGrath, other kind of collectibles there. All right, so that is it. Doesn't look like I did too much damage in this drawer. This looks very empty. All right, I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna pull over all the things I'm actually decluttering. This is my pile of declutter. Not bad, not bad. I think I was hoping to do a little bit more, but you guys know my, <laughs> my weakness really are, is single shadows. I mean, amongst other things, but I really love, love single shadows and cream shadows. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this declutter. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye.